Okay, so um, this is just an example of how you can bring in um, 2D uh, information, whether it be you know, FBX, DX, um, and how you can apply it onto geometry and then how you can modify it. So let's first uh, look at what we've got. So this is just a DXF logo that I've brought in that I can apply into the geometry. Just got some NURBS geometry here. And what I'm going to go do now is I'm going to apply that. So if I go into the object edit and have a look, we've got in here, uh, not object edit, sorry, not curve edit. We've got the dynamic shape modeling tools. Um, and if I go into the conform rig, uh, basically what this will do is we'll take this and apply it as geometry onto the geometry. So first I pick the targets of what I'm going to abuse. And then I pick the surfaces that I want to apply it to. You can see here they're clearly marked with boundaries. So I can see what I'm going to apply it to. And then I say accept. And you see automatically you get the placement. Now I can move that placement. Let's just, uh, we'll go off and turn things off in a minute. Um, I can rotate that placement. I can scale it. Bigger and smaller. I can elevate it and I can flip it. Uh, in this case, I don't want to do either of those, so I won't. So now if I come out of the tool, that's got history. So if I pick this object, let's turn off all of the, the points to start with because I just want to clearly see it. So it's a line based on the surface. Oops. And that's within the surface space within a set tolerance. Now if I query edit this, um, I've got it set to accurate, so it creates an accurate setup. You can see some little bits here having a little bit of a funny, but in the whole, the whole things come across nice and easily. But the, now the real advantage to this is if um, I edit this two, 2D planar um, setup, I can go in and let's pick this as a curve or pick this as an object, turn on its controls, pick some of the points maybe. So let's pick something fairly obvious to start with. Let's pick these ones in the corner. If I say move in the X direction, um, I can do that over here now. So you'll see it move. If I move in the X direction, you see it's already done it, actually. Just undo those two. If I move it logically now in this direction, you see that that starts to move. Now, you can see the 2D planar element, but you can also see um, the, the surface being applied. Okay. We can also use this in reverse. So if you've got something that we've applied onto geometry, we can actually um, use it to map it to get the 2D layout of that um, in some ways as well. So it's, it's a potential way to, to do this in 2D curves. You can export from Illustrator as a DXF or DWG. 